Okay, documenting again, some stuff before I sell it. These are fidget spinners. I was into these before they became a cheap, mass-produced child's toy that came out of China. And these I became interested because they're, some of them were made from very nice metals, and some of them are just very unique designs. And they were individuals working sort of out of the garage, out of their own small workshop, or something like that. And uh, I was really, I was really, I can appreciate individual skilled work like this. So this is what's left of all the spinners I've collected. If you go into the spinner groups on Facebook and type my name, you'll see way too many. Way, way, way too many. Anyways, so I don't know if you guys know this, but spinners originally started mainly because of this company, um, Torque Bar. I mean, at least I found out about them through Torque Bar. Uh, somebody had showed me this and said you can get on his custom list. And the list is very long and only growing, but uh, he makes one at a time on a custom list. My name never came up, even though I got put on the list. Uh, there was just too many, I was too far down, and a lot of things had happened in that time frame. So I got so these two still. This is when it's originally called Scam, was the original company. But then when it partnered up to become bigger, they named themselves, is it Torque Bar? I guess it was Torque Bar. I thought it was something else, Infinity or something. And they changed their logo to this, uh, oh my gosh, the camera hasn't even been focusing. And they changed their logo to like an infinity symbol. Hello? No, no, don't focus, okay, fine. Titanium. Very cool feel. And I, I, I liked it because there was nothing like it at the time. Now, of course, it's whatever. We've been blasted with fidget spinners way too much. The artistry was what I liked about it. That's what drew me to this at first. Um, I wish I had, I had taken video of all the other stuff I had before I sold it. Photo Blade, this is cool. So that original logo, I had that. And I like that. I don't know why I sold it. Because it could hold my cigar. This is supposed to hold your cigar also, but meh. Feels good. Nice and heavy. But doesn't do much for me. The Cognito. This was very cool to look at, in my opinion. This is titanium, pretty sure. Cognito from something engineering, LMS engineering. Ooh, look at this one. Ooh. Oh, you know what? We'll talk about that in a second. We'll leave that till the end. Uh, Wes, Wes, last name starts with a T. He made a bunch of small ones like this and then made a very limited amount in the beginning of these large ones. I had to get on, to, on one of these. And I like the feel of these, this is very cool. And I thought, you know what, I wouldn't mind having a, a desk, a piece of desk sculpture. And I did, I had this sitting on my desk for a very long time at, uh, at one of my offices. It's very heavy. The balls are heavy, I think the inside is just aluminum. It'd be too heavy if it was steel. This is from Vape Monster, I've had a few things from them. I think there was one called a candy or something. And there's this, which is sun and moon, I possibly believe. It's got some engravings and markings on there. I can't really see it. Let's see. Focus. There we go. Yeah, really cool. So it's like a spinning coin, basically. Although spinning coins are cool, they're just not my jam, not my thing. I don't feel enough gyroscopic effect when I'm playing with it. Extra buttons, tools, bearing, removers. Ooh, this one. Skull Spinner, it was called. This became popular fast. And, uh... He... I think he's still around. Very cool. 
He was the guy using EDC, one of the first guys using EDC to cut his metal. What else we got? Nils Kohlring from German Spinning Tops Rule. Tritium here, tritium here, tritium here. Yep. What's in here? Ooh, is this the uh, Eclipse? Yep. <laughs> yeah, these things are so cool. So a little Damascus piece. Focus camera, stop unfocusing. Uh, okay, there we go. Look at that. Gorgeous piece. It's just a small finger device. Yeah, that was tritium. This was from uh, a vape company actually started making spinners. And they made some pretty decent ones also, but this one was one of the coolest ones. I had to keep this one because it's so cool. Little brass dog, little bone, little bone with magnetic buttons that come off. So cool. We have this one. Was it Axiom or something maybe? I don't remember. Ooh, incredible. I had this pouch purchased from another custom person who was making pouches. Oh, I might not sell this one. I like that one. How do I get this in again? I don't remember. Oh, yeah. That's just a puzzle. Here we go. A smaller version of this. I did have another one in a brush finish. I like the polished finish though, so I kept that one. Ooh, you hear that? You can probably feel it just by hearing it. Oh, that's nice, that gyroscopic feel. Ooh, nice spinners, Wes. What's in here? Ooh, my friend Noel made this for me. We were trying to design our own spinners for a while, but uh, it's just costs a lot of money to actually do it not overseas and using a shop here. Cause you know, people want to get paid here. Overseas, you know, you don't have, people want to get paid, but apparently you don't have to pay them. So this was like a jellyfish kind of thing. Runs really, really well. And when we designed this, we tried to optimize spin time with cool design. So that'll spin forever. It's very heavy. I think it's beryllium copper, which isn't even supposed to be handled by normal people all the time regularly for fun. Celtic Spinner. Uh, I don't remember the name of the company. But here's the Celtic Spinner. Maybe the company is Celtic Spinner. And there's tritium pieces in here. Very cool. Not much of a story for that one. What do we have here? We already saw that, we saw that, we saw these. This is a, let me put this away real quick. This is a cheap Chinese knockoff of Ray Pena or Ray Pina's original design. So when Ray came out with his, I had one, but I ended up sold, selling it to a friend. And somebody had found this online and purchased it for me, not knowing that I had just sold the real version of it and uh, was missing it. So here we go. I know this is not good because it's kind of supporting the clones, but I mean, I got it as a gift and uh, it's here. Nice job, Ray, good designs. That's the best form of flattery when people take your idea. Oh yeah, these were made from the vape company also. So this was uh, this was my one of my company's brands, and he made me just whatever a promotion thing. Here's what he did. 
Ah, isn't that cool? What's for dinner? Can't decide what's for dinner? Let this decide. <laughs> what's in here? Ooh, this one, I remember this. A six shooter, I believe it's called. From Metallic Revolutions, I have the card here. Serial number 136, material SS. These bullets come out, or these um, casings come out. That's the coolest thing about this. Very interactive. So if you're really bored, you can just pull these casings in and out. They're sitting there waiting at a bank or something. Another original design by my buddy Noel. Another brilliant copper piece. The button is not though, the button is from, uh, I don't remember who. I don't remember who the button's from. Oh yeah, that's nice. Oh, another custom design, one off from us. Uh, I don't have the right bearing in there right now, but inserts. So we've got stainless steel with beryllium copper inserted. Yeah. This is by far the longest spinning one I think he designed. It'll go forever. <laughs> All right, that's good. Probably not going to sell that one. And here, I got these, which you can't find anymore, because for obvious reasons, they're dangerous as heck. But they're metal pointy stars with the really chunk bearing in the middle. But I didn't buy it for the bearing. I actually throw knives, so this is no different. As you can see, I've thrown these. Same with these. These aren't as good. They're quite blunt. This one I haven't thrown. It's brand new, untouched. The bearing's nice. This one has been thrown, as you see. It's entered a chunk of drywall or something. I don't know what I was throwing it at. Looks like concrete. Ow! So yeah, these are Naruto stars. And I mean, shortly after I got them, I'm like, man, these are a good idea. I should buy a whole bunch to sell here. And well, you know, you can't, you couldn't buy them anymore when I looked for it because obvious reasons. That is dangerous. But I think you can go on eBay and still find them anyway, right now. So yeah, how do you do this? Put that underneath. Right there. All right. So pretty much all this is going up for sale. Documented. Oh wait, this one. German spinning tops rule from a Joe Chen. There. Pro Alox. Pro Alox. I don't. I don't even know what to say. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. The most beautiful piece of uh, artwork I have as in a spinner form. Moku tie. Is that material in the center? And then the rest of it is, you know, I don't even know, but it's very heavy. Would it be tungsten? I could, I could believe it's tungsten, I guess. Titanium? <laughs> I don't know. Wait, I have a card here. What does it say? Oh, for two things. Oh, I do have a, oh, shoot, okay. CU and Titanium and Timascus. Timascus, that's what it is. Timascus. I gotta stop saying Mokutai. Timascus. Full ceramic bearing. Ooh, that's gorgeous. Okay. Oh, I'm just. I just told somebody that I don't have these uh, certificates, but clearly I do. So I gotta message him back. Anyway, thanks for joining me. That's the documentation or archiving of this stuff. Peace out, make it a great day.